you know, this, this, this fabric of our society run right through this office. And I've always described getting back to the thing that we talk about too much, I guess, getting back to elections. Elections are, and I like to say this, elections are the golden thread that bind together the fabric of all of the rest of our society. Again, whether it's business, the arts and sciences, technology, law, medicine, uh, all of those things, those fabrics are bound together by this communal act of elections, that golden thread. And if you pull that golden thread out, the entire fabric disintegrates. And that's really, really true, especially when we operate in the system that we do. American democracy is bound together by faith, the faith that we have in one another. And the authoritarians and, 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 and sort of the fascists out there want to divide us away from one another and to destroy that civic faith that we as Americans have specifically in that golden thread that binds us together as a society. And you don't always get the result you want. That's one of the beauties of this thing. Everyone sometimes wins. You don't always get to win, but you always get to participate. You always get to move forward. And we do get to progress as a society because of that civic faith, right? And so uh, that's one of the great things about this office is that it really all does tie together philosophically. Um, and, and it's exciting. And, and, and I'm having, obviously, as you can tell, I'm having a great time doing this job. I really love it. I have to say, as we wrap up, you know, on the one hand, there's the depressing reality that you talked about earlier of the preponderance of election officials resigned or didn't you know run again uh, because of the just the dispiriting stress and trauma and and drama of the past few elections you know it was too much the flip side of course is there's a whole new set of people who are willing to step in and be public servants and you included you know that that it it depends, you know, the optic is, is very different if you look at it from, oh my God, the intense partisanship and hatred and, and denialism is leading people to step aside because it's a much more fraught role than saying, look at all the new people who are saying that they are passionate about exactly what you just articulated, that elections are the closest thing we have to um, a covenant with each other. And there are plenty of people who are stepping up and saying, I'm going to be a servant to make sure that this aspect of our society and our democracy continues to function, which is a much more hopeful statement, right? Than the one of like, everybody went, Oh my God, I can't do this. Um, yeah. And, and that's really, that's really what keeps me going, right? It's these folks that are coming in and um, they're coming in bright eyed, uh, they, 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 they know exactly what it is that other folks have gone through. Uh, they see it in a lot of the training. You know, you never used to have to do live shooter drills in elections offices. We do now. <laughs> Man, I'm right? not laughing, never... laughing. I'm just like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's a morbid laugh, but it's appropriate, right? We never had to do a lot of the stuff that we have to do now. And things change. And sometimes they change for the better and sometimes they change for the worse. But like you said, and I think it's critically important for folks to understand I am positive, I am uplifted, and I have a great deal of hope because of the people who are coming in, because these folks want uh, to be a part of American democracy in, in spite of the possible downsides, in spite of the possible danger and, and, and sort of the stress and the threats and all that stuff. They still want to see this move forward. And that means that what we do is valuable. It's incredibly valuable. Uh, and, and, and you really want the folks that get it to be doing it. And those are the folks that we're bringing in. And, and I'm, I'm pretty darn proud of it. Well, we, we wish you, uh, I mean, luck is probably not the right word. Um, you know, Godspeed, uh, make sure you sleep well, uh, have a sleep now. Cause you probably won't sleep for the second half of the year. Uh, and you know, thank you for doing the role that you're doing and for stepping into the fray and the ring and all those cliches, but it's, it's really good to hear. Uh, and I think, I hope many people who are listening will, will feel the same, that it is good to hear. And I don't think we hear it enough. You know, there's, there's a lot of what people pay attention to in politics tends to be the horse race and the drama. And then we sort of stop paying attention to what people are actually doing. And I've, I've really appreciated the conversation about that. And I, you know, 
again, the more you can speak about it and the more I think you can evangelize for, hey, we, we are a set of people performing really vital tasks. We do so with eyes wide open, enthusiasm, awareness of, of the, the challenges of that. And here we are. And I think the more people hear that, that in and of itself is, if not an antidote to, then certainly something that leavens what otherwise appears to be a kind of depressing picture. Yeah, couldn't have said it better myself, and I certainly am excited to be doing it. Particularly, like I said, with the with the folks who are coming in now, uh, and the folks that are still around. Of course, they they get it; they've gotten it for a long time. But it's exciting. It's fun. Twenty twenty four is going to have its challenges, uh, but at the end of the day, if you're not doing something challenging, you know you got to consider getting out of your comfort zone, uh, and this certainly can be <laughs> uh, an uncomfortable spot once in a while. But but we'll get through it, and we'll be we'll be we'll be just fine.